All right. Well, uh, Patrick, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you being on. Of course. Uh, We've known each other for a lot of years now. So long, in fact. Well, first of all, let me just explain the the topic. We're talking about Neuralink today. Elon Musk's little pet project. Well, not little pet project. I think at this point, it's what? They're on human trials, right? Yeah. Like, it's it's a very real thing. I thought you were the perfect person to talk about this with me. Um, because we've been friends for so long yes. that we had this one little business back in the day called yeah. Studio 55. Yes, we did. I found this clip of one of our old podcasts, and we talked about Neuralink. And so I just want you to watch this clip. And this, and, and for some, some context, this is back when it was a, a pet project. This is when mm-hmm. like, the headlines were like, Elon Musk is thinking of trying out a Neuralink system of yeah. some kind. And I think this is us just like thinking about what what... Yeah, exactly. I clipped it out just for this video. Speaking of uh, Elon Musk, and we talked about this a long time ago. Speaking of naked. Yeah, speaking of naked drunk people. (laughs) Elon Uh, Musk. Elon Elon Musk. Musk. He's doing this thing called Neuralink. It's almost like a chip you can put in the side of your head. It reminds me too much of Black Mirror, and we all know what happens in Black Mirror. You basically have a built-in Siri, but even beyond that. It's more like a Jarvis. Like, if you in your head, you're like, Google, uh, how many square miles is Hawaii? It would just pop up in your head because it just searches for it. So you would just kind of have like all that knowledge. It's yeah, it'd be like there's no point for school. There's no point for anything because you already know everything. It would take a long time to get to that point because obviously there's you got to start somewhere and then it builds up to that eventually. But well, I'm sure they'll make laws, laws where like you can't get it until you're a certain age, like 18. I'm sure or, or like, 21 or yeah. something. But I don't know. I made a promise to myself that I'm never gonna put anything. No, that's like that's ridiculous. surgical like that. That's ridiculous. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yeah. Uh, I, I would agree with my uh, what 2019 self. Yeah. Same here. I would. Yeah. I, I forgot. I remembered uh, loosely that we talked about it. Yeah. Um, but I didn't remember specifically what our opinions was. So I was like, while I was watching the podcast, I was really hoping that, uh, you know, my 18, 19 year old self was based. Yeah. And I think we were. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because the whole thing is pretty fucking crazy. And um, I feel like most people have like a, just a general understanding that um, or of what it is. Sure. I feel like it has a lot of implications that um, people aren't really considering because they're looking at the positives and there are positives and we'll get into that. Sure. There's a lot of ripple effects that I feel like are going to come from this. And there's a big reason why I was glad when you hit me up about about coming on because uh, one thing I've been really on recently in my personal life is a lot of cyberpunk like genre things, uh, not even just like the video game, uh, the popular video game. But it, it's 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 very true. Like if we start putting Neuralink in everything, it's uh, the ripple effects could be viruses. It could be mm-hmm. more than we know. And it's it's very scary. Here, we'll go to the official Neuralink website. Look, our first clinical trial is open to recruitment. Oh, wow. That'd we should sign up for that. <laughs> it would uh, contradict our entire point. Uh, yeah, they, right now, but. they tend to like forge documents and steal the bodies that don't work well. So, you know. I is that know. true? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, in like far, far pharmaceutical. Oh, like, right, yeah, right, right, right. Is that, you know, yeah. people who aren't always well get their signature forged and then they get put through trials and then you can't you can't see the body because the body's got all the evidence. So, right. Yeah. So I could, I could see that just repeating itself. Obviously before they go to human trials, there's a lot of, uh, animal trials that have to happen before then. And we'll talk about that in this video, but there is disturbing stories of animals of all kinds, chimps. Well, they've apes. already done it. Oh, yeah. They're through all of the animal trials. That's, you mm-hmm. know, that, that's how they finally got approval to do the human trials, but there was a lot, it wasn't a smooth, sailing ship uh, i would imagine not yeah, i would imagine not. <laughs> the mission is to create a generalized brain interface to restore autonomy to those with unmet medical needs today and unlock human potential tomorrow this sounds fantastic okay immediately i was going to compare this with something i've been seeing on like some streaming platforms recently with their ads and stuff like that it's it's a wearable biotech where it's like you wear it i think it's still external like you wear it as like a bracelet or something like that but i think the implication is to start putting things into your body that can start tracing and tracking all that kind of stuff. Oh, and while I somewhat agree with it because yes, it probably could stop, you know, a lot of numerous things from happening or at least identify before it happens too badly. But the reason why this gets so much funding is not necessarily just because Elon Musk is the creator and his name is the biggest. There's like genuinely great scientific feats that could come from this. Our brain computer interface is fully implantable, cosmetically invisible, and designed to let you control a computer or mobile device wherever you go. Hmm. Like you think, hey Siri, it'll just pop up in your head. Yeah, literally what we talked about in 2019. Yeah. That scares the absolute crap out of me. Imagine just like sleeping and you're a sleep talker 
And then, mm-hmm. like you, you know, you say something, oh and then God. Siri just wakes you up in your head, and you're just like, "Oh, yeah." And this was, uh, I didn't clip this in from 2019, but you had said in that video that like one day someone could hack the yes. computer, and then you don't have control of your brain anymore because that Neuralink controls every aspect of your brain. So if, if that control isn't you, mm-hmm. it can be overhauled. That's the wrong word. Uh, it could be uh, it's overrided. Just Over, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, one thing you can take from Cyberpunk the video game is, uh, yeah, just imagine like if someone hacked it and then overloaded it. Yes. To where your brain literally starts melting in your own skull. Yeah, just like crazy. Yeah, it just explodes. Think that for the first time, his company Neuralink has implanted a brain chip in a human. Musk saying the person is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. The device is designed to interpret your neural activity so you can operate a computer or a smartphone by simply thinking. The FDA approved Neuralink for human tests last May after years of testing on animals. Here's one electrode on one thread that when we stimulate causes a flexion years? of the leg. Mm-hmm. The company demonstrated the ability of its implants to stimulate movement. As you can see, Pager is amazingly good at mind pump. Better that is pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a monkey playing a video game is pretty crazy. People who've lost the use of their limbs. Neuralink's engineers aren't the only ones turning science fiction into reality. Researchers elsewhere help this man, paralyzed in an accident, walk again thanks to implants in his brain and spine. And in August, this woman who had lost her voice to paralysis was able to have a conversation with her husband again thanks to a mind-controlled avatar. To not make me laugh. Okay, well, that was wholesome. Yeah, like, that's the thing that, I mean... Like, those are the moments I would like to see. Yeah, like, in theory, you could stop all blindness. Like, you could fix the neurons that make you go paralyzed. You could fix your heart. Um, How many animals and or even people, you know, got their brain fried or just, you know, did get, you know, like, we don't... There was this... um, I'm going to skip ahead on the... This oh, one. yeah, this next thing is horrible trials gone wrong. So I guess this is going to answer our question. Yeah. Inside Elon Musk's horror Neuralink lab where 1500 animals suffered agonizing deaths. I want all of you out there, whoever is watching this, to truly think about this man. He made Tesla. He's making the Tesla cars. And those those things like fucking explode. Sorry, cussing. Sorry. But they, can, no, they, combust. Good. they combust. Like they literally combust out of nowhere. So do you trust that kind of technology in your head? So showed monkeys had their skulls drilled into and filled with a bio, bio, bio glue after operations. Some had operations on their skulls as many as 10 times before they were euthanized. Surgeons would drill into monkeys' heads and attach implants to their brains but they didn't fit properly and would protrude from the animal's skulls. Death reports obtained by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine and seen by the Daily Star also showed animals had their limbs amputated or suffered repeated vomiting or diarrhea. Sheep and pigs were also killed during the testing. In total, at least 1,500 animals were killed during these tests alone. So like they were even to the point to where they were like... (sighs) Yeah, that looks like that, that. That looks right. You know what I mean? Like they weren't taking it super seriously, where they were making sure everything was where it needed to be. Yeah. So, so not only did these animals not get like honored deaths, they weren't even taken seriously in the fact that like when they were getting the implants, they didn't make sure that they were the right no, dimensions. Exactly. So yeah, so a lot of horrible, um, a lot of horrible oh, things happen to creatures. Sure. So uh, pros are improved ability to learn and remember new information. Neuralink technology could help us become smarter by connecting our brains directly to computers, allowing us to access vast amounts of information at any time. It could also improve memory recall by recording memories and playing them back at a later date. It could also p- prevent people from losing their memories as they age by allowing them to upload their memories into an artificial intelligence system stored on a cloud server so they are never lost. I don't know why that's under pros. That's bad shit. That is pretty fucking insane. Like It's yeah, literally shit. Black Mirror. Yeah, the recording memories and things. Um, that's a, that's an episode, right? That's an, uh, Yeah, that's yeah, mm-hmm. but they're, they're, they're contact lenses. So they're... they're like the computers are inside these contact lenses that everybody just happens to where they're not directly linked to your brain or anything like that. Wow. So this is even deeper than. Oh, extremely. Which I think, you know, I think, I think most people in life can say, you know, do we want to remember some things like, you know, exactly, you know, memories are memories for a reason. I don't know. No, exactly. People with, with disabilities will have a higher quality of life. They'll be able to improve the quality of life of people with disabilities. It will allow people who are paralyzed to control their bodies again. It will let people who are blind see again. It will make it possible for people who are deaf to hear again. In that sense, 
that is pretty awesome. That's probably the best pro that I've heard so far. Yeah, that that is pretty awesome. Um, human AI communication and collaboration have improved. So like Elon Musk has literally, I think I have it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I have it here. His long term goals. Great picture, by the way. <laughs> it is really good, <laughs> but I hate that it's Elon Musk. I know. Elon Musk wants to merge humans with AI. How many brains will be damaged along the way? Uh, his goal is to, to develop a technology that helps human humans merge with AI so that we won't be left behind as AI becomes more sophisticated. That opens up a whole nother argument. We yeah. are we are in the end times. And I think the more and more, which is why I brought up the cyberpunk thing, that's just if you, if you play the game or know anything about the genre or anything like that, it's, it's literally this, basically. You know, it's obviously more with like also um, uh, limb implants, you know, things right. like that, you know, mechanical arms, weapons in those mechanical arms and stuff like that. And yeah, that all seems like science fiction now, but it's the more and more we just continue to do things like this and improve on it. That's just going to become the reality. And then we're in a whole nother mess, I think. I feel like there's a 20% chance that this doesn't drastically change the way the, he also the hasn't world seen works. Terminator, I guess, because that's <laughs> yeah. literally basically what happens. And it's only getting better in every facet. It is. Like with open AI, chat yeah. GPT, like in... I, I saw this lie, video. I use ChatGPT. I've used it before. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Because it's so fucking good. It's good. Yeah. We were born at an insane time in human history. For like, sure. Yeah. We were alive before the iPhone, and now we're about to witness fully aware artificial intelligence. I think AI is something that could be necessary and used in the right way could be awesome but let's be honest it's not going to be used in the right way and they're just going to be like okay well how can we top ourselves now how can we top ourselves now and yeah the ai is just going to become smarter to where at one point if said ai let's say that you know 10 years from now there's a master ai that kind of controls a lot of different systems throughout the world and whatnot Neuralink, let's say has also been pretty booming and you know it's 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 in we'll say a third of the population or something like that. If the yeah. AI wanted to at any point and, and upgraded to a certain point to some kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, consciousness, you know, open mm -hmm. consciousness, then they could just basically take over those people's minds and maybe not completely take them over, but start uh, being suggestive, start doing things, start controlling their limbs, maybe even against their will. So yeah, there's a lot of things to think about. And yeah, you can all be like, that's science fiction. But literally in that video we just watched about Neuralink, they're talking about how they're bringing science fiction to life. It's, it's not any more out of the realm now than things we thought of, you know, 15 or so years ago. 100%. The way, or the way things go in the next five years, I feel like is we're going to de determine the rest of human history. I don't know if that sure. sounds too like so out of this world, but sure. it really, I feel like we are at like a, a cross, like a fork in the road for all these different things happening at the same time. I think we're, yeah, we're progressing. We're, we're focusing on the wrong things to progress on. I think, I think there's so many other things that need progression and attention rather than a, AI and yeah. Neuralink and, you know, iPhone. So we just have to hope that this power doesn't um, end up in the wrong hands. Yeah, I guess that was all the articles I had. You'll have to come back on and uh, we'll see how the human trials go. We yeah, well, that was Neuralink series five years ago now. So, yeah, so we'll we'll call it another five years. Yeah, where we're at. So 2028. 2028, yeah, so we'll, we'll both be 28 by the end of that year. Yeah, we'll yeah. update in five years. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 I'll keep, keep that to you then. All right, buddy. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me on. I appreciate uh, talking about this. And uh, when you hit me up about it, I was very excited because I'm a uh, big hater of Elon Musk. I do not like that guy. Yeah. yeah. We talked about him as like a real life Tony Stark in like 2019. Sure. And I think in one crazy. of those podcasts, we even say that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy the turn that he's had. That's a whole separate video topic. But yeah. Um, yeah. him as a character is pretty, pretty bad shit in, in yeah. himself, you know. Astonishing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you should come on anytime. Anytime you want to do a video. Hit me up. Literally anytime. Let me know. Well, we've already technically collaborated yeah that's true did you ever talk about that that never yes, got released I, I i referenced it in my ufo video okay but okay. that was a very disappointing day because you <laughs> you came out caleb was coming he was just did this like uh <laughs> short film yes it was by far the best set that <laughs> i've ever been a part of um for especially for like one of our podcasts oh, stop all right buddy well thanks for coming on thank you for uh, having me thank you i appreciated it absolutely everyone take it easy goodbye